you thought that sequence was leading up to something. Well, I did too. That's the problem. I don't have anything to tell the rest of the story. We need to figure out how to tell that story today, so come on. Storytelling is not rocket science. Actually, actually storytelling is a lot like rocket science because you're trying to get from point A to point B with the rocket, but there's something in between that gets in the way that you have to resolve. So I guess story, so we need to, come on. In the simplest form of story, it's just going from point A to point B, but there's something getting in the way in between it. It's that thing that gets in between point A and point B that creates the problem. And so you have to find a resolution to the problem. And generally, when there's a problem, the character has to build something up within him or herself to enable him or her to conquer that problem so that there can be resolution. Otherwise, it's just moving from point A to point B. That's, that's no story, that's just a log. Stories can come in all shapes and sizes, but they all essentially follow that same pattern. So there has to be an A, a problem, a resolution, and then a B. And that's about the simplest way you can put it. The story only becomes interesting once you start involving other elements to deal with the problem. So in order for stories to work effectively, there has to be this build up to the problem and then there has to be something that happens within the character that causes them to be able to overcome that problem so that there is a resolution. In our case, in our case, it's because something interrupted my morning coffee. What was it? That's what we're trying to figure out. Don't interrupt my morning coffee. Point A is me sitting down with that coffee in the morning. Point B is me actually finishing that cup of coffee, enjoying it before I go to work. But something gets in the way. There's a conflict and there must be a resolution. But we don't know what it is. We have to figure it out. So what is it? Here's the thing, it really doesn't matter <laughs> what the problem is for this morning's coffee. What we're trying to talk about and understand is how to tell a story. If I can't start with point A, have a conflict, and then finish up at point B with resolution in between, then I'm not telling a story. And so, so many videos fall short because they miss out on the full story. And in fact, some of them start off with a great story, but they just fizzle out. Others begin with amazing, beautiful cinematography and drone footage and everything else, but there's no story and so it really holds no value and it doesn't stick. The things that stick with us, the things that stick with you when you watch a movie or read a book or whatever, is the story. Everybody talks about movies in terms of story. They always want to tell you the story of the movie. We are story-driven people. We have to tell stories. That's what the oral language is for. That's what the written language is for. So as you create, make sure that you're focused on telling some sort of story. And it doesn't matter if it's just the story of your day, but there has to be some kind of resolution from a conflict. Uh, I think I screwed that up. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I hope you know. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Stories are odd in that you can introduce all sorts of things to speed them up or slow them down. You know what? Maybe the real problem is not that you can't tell a story, but the real problem is that you get lost in the story. You make it simpler. A simple story is always going to be the best route and you can evolve it from there, but start with a simple story.
oh, the beginning footage, it was actually me thinking of the idea to tell a story by telling a story about, st wait, stories. Um, this is by no means a comprehensive approach to storytelling. The premise behind storytelling is very simple. And again, the simpler, the better. But you can weave so much into a story to make it so interesting and make it really involved and engage it with its audience. But don't feel like you have to force story on yourself. Let it come naturally. Like, every vlog doesn't have to have a story, quote unquote. A lot of my vlogs don't have story. They just have speaking. They have something that comes to mind and I elaborate on it. But if a story happens, if you see an opportunity for it, go for it and take it because it makes it that much better. Storytelling is rocket science on a much smaller scale. But like Lord of the Rings is a big story. It's bigger than a rocket. <laughs> hey, I'm M. Hyatt. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm M. Hyatt. I'm a 2019 daily vlogger and filmmaker documenting this journey throughout the year. We'd love to have you as part of our community. We started a small community called Action Begets Action and the mindset behind it is that if you start creating, if you start doing, it will cause you to keep doing, to keep creating, to keep those creative juices flowing. We would love to have you as part of the team and all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload every day. If you want a really comprehensive book on storytelling, check out The Anatomy of Story by John Truby. This is M. Hyatt. Thanks for watching.